Growing up in the Philippines, I would help my mom cook Filipino food. Years later, when I became vegan, I learned that Filipino food can also be vegan without losing its soul. I wanted to share this discovery with family, friends, and with you. Kain na! Let's eat! Filipino macaroni salad is a rich and creamy dish, slightly sweeter than the Italian and Mediterranean or other versions that you may have tried before. It uses ingredients like pineapple, raisins, and shredded chicken. Filipinos serve this dish at holiday parties, birthdays, and fiestas. The Astigo vegan version will be just as satisfying using simple vegan substitutions. In fact, my recipe tester said they had an easy time and their family and friends said they loved the results so I cannot wait to share the recipe with you. For the ingredients, we'll need 8 ounces dried elbow macaroni pasta, 1 small carrot peeled and diced, Two and a half cups green unripe jackfruit. Just make sure that it's the green unripe kind and do not use the yellow ones. You can find green unripe jackfruit at Asian grocery stores. You can find them either canned or fresh. One half cup vegetable broth or one to two tablespoons vegetable broth powder mixed in with one half cup of water. One cup of vegan mayonnaise. One cup of pineapple tidbits. If you can only find pineapple chunks in can, then you may just cut them into smaller sizes. Three tablespoons raisins. One fourth cup of vegan cheese. Two tablespoons of pineapple juice. To season, a dash of garlic powder, few pinches of salt, and few pinches of black pepper. I got my ingredients at an all-vegetarian grocery store called Rainbow Grocery in San Francisco. Now let's get started. We have a boiling pot of about four to six cups of salted water. Now time to add the pasta. So basically we're just going to cook the pasta until it's soft enough to bite. So just mix it around every once in a while so that the pasta won't stick on the bottom of the pot. Then cook until it's soft enough but still kind of firm because for the last minute before turning off the heat, you want to add the carrots to cook it for just that one last minute and then turn off the heat and drain. While we're waiting for the pasta and carrots to cool down, let's make the vegan shredded chicken. Using a small pot, heat that. Now, vegan shredded chicken may seem complicated, but really, this is super simple. All you have to do is just combine the shredded jackfruit and vegetable broth. Basically, we just want the green unwrapped jackfruit to fully absorb the flavors of the vegetable broth. So the key here is to use good quality vegetable broth brand. After simmering, let it cool. The jackfruit should have fully absorbed the vegetable broth if not, just go ahead and drain the excess liquid. Now that we have cooled down the pasta, carrots, and jackfruit, believe it or not, that's the hardest part. Now we are moving on to just pretty much combining the rest of the ingredients. So with this, we're gonna add the mayo. Mix it around. We add the jackfruit. Pineapple tidbits. So as you notice, I am mixing after I put about two to three ingredients. Then I'm gonna add some more raisins. I am using here natural sweetness from the pineapple and raisins. This is optional, but I like to put a traditional touch, which is the vegan cheese here. So the traditional touch has cheese. I'm gonna put vegan cheese. It looks very festive already. Look at that. Different textures. That's great. I like mine to have like lots of garlic powder, so I'm gonna put a teaspoon of garlic powder there. And season with sea salt and black pepper. This part is completely up to you as far as the amount. If you want it peppery. Okay, I'm gonna taste it because I wanna find out if it needs more seasoning, if it needs more of anything. This is the part where you can um, add pineapple juice, for example. And if you want more sweetness, for example, um, 
if you do have, because the traditional version, some may put condensed milk. So if you do have some vegan condensed milk where you live, then by all means use about a tablespoon of that. But if you cannot find condensed, vegan condensed milk where you live, that's completely fine as well. That's good. <laughs> I think I'm just gonna add a little bit more because there's some left here in the vegan mayo. But that's pretty much it. Okay, as the last step, let's put this in the fridge for at least 30 minutes just so that the flavors can blend even better. And there you go, our vegan Filipino macaroni salad is now ready to serve. Growing up, my mom would always make Filipino macaroni salad for Christmas, New Year's Eve, and birthdays. And my family would always get a big serving to eat and a big serving to take back home. It was definitely a crowd pleaser in my family, and I hope your family and friends will enjoy it too. And there you have it, vegan Filipino macaroni salad that will surely delight everyone vegan or not, Filipino or not, I hope you try this at home. And if you do, feel free to share this on social media and use the hashtag AstigVegan. I'd love to hear from you. For the full recipe and other vegan Filipino recipes, just go on AstigVegan.com. Thank you so much for watching. My name is RG at AstigVegan, letting you know that Filipino food can be vegan, healthy, and delicious without losing its soul. Kain na, let's eat! Would you lie?